Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you how to flash a stock ROM on the Prestigio Multipad 7 Pro Duo. Now if you happen to have updated to the Jelly Bean update which has some kind of bugs for so for example the tablet going to, to sleep and you cannot wake it up, you need to charge it and so on but the battery is not down or if you have been on Cyanogen mode and you are not happy with the features and the stability that you can easily flash a stock ROM to revert back to the old firmware which you have gotten with your tablet. So let's begin. So let us start off with the computer. Now you need to head into the following page here as you can see in the address bar. I have left it in the link in the video description. You need to head in this directory here and you need to download the proper firmware. Now the latest one as you can see this one is the Jelly Bean update. While version 1.1.1 is the ice cream sandwich firmware. Which is I believe the default which you get with the tablet. Or at least uh, you used to get. Anyways. Pick your firmware, I would highly recommend the ice cream sandwich even though Jelly Bean is newer, rich with features and so on, like I said, if you experience these bugs, stay away from it. So I'm just gonna download the old firmware, they are basically the same. Download it wherever you want, for example on the desktop. And once the file has been downloaded, as you can see this is a zip file, so you need to extract it with, with software such as 7-zip or WinRAR. Now once you have the zip file downloaded, extract it using WinRAR or 7-zip like I said. Should take just a few seconds. You should then get this folder. Now in this folder, just a second, it is still extracting. Anyways, in this folder you will get the proper drivers, the firmware file and the needed tool to flush the firmware. It's quite easy. You also get a manual to instruct you on how to do this. You can either read that or you can just follow the video tutorial. Anyways, the process is really simple. So this is what you get here now as you can see. So the next step after this is to power off your tablet and connect it with the USB cable. Now you need to make sure that the tablet is powered off as you can see. And now basically hold the volume up button when in the meantime connect your tablet with the USB cable like this mm -hmm. at this point your computer should detect it and it should say that it cannot find the proper drivers anyways just leave your tablet like this now and you head back into the computer now at this point you might get an error claiming that it doesn't have the driver installed for the device. Now this is why we have these two folders here for drivers. One is for the 32-bit versions of Windows and the second is for the 64-bit. I'm currently running 64-bit Windows 7 and this is what I'm going to be using. So the next step is to head into the device manager. Now once you are in device manager you should see unknown device. Open that up, choose update driver choose browse my computer for driver software now locate the folder it should be this one as you can see I'm running 64 bit Windows 7 and this is what I'm gonna choose here this folder right here choose that ok and choose next at this point it will begin installing and it will warn you that it cannot verify the publisher of the driver software but install its driver anyway, choose that it will begin installing should take just a few seconds and there you have it as you can see RK30 device, it now recognizes your tablet while it is powered off as you can see this is what you should end up with so you are now ready to flash the stock firmware. Now keep the tablet connected to the computer and head into the tools folder. In here you should see the RK batch tool, open this up. And you should see connected devices, a green box. This should be your tablet. By the way, make sure to remove any other USB device, just another phone if you have or whatever, because um, it may conflict with the installation. Anyways, Make sure that it has a green box and detects your tablet. Now in the firmware path, browse to the firmware. Simply head into the folder again for the PMP. Head into the firmware folder and choose the update IMG file. Open that up. It should say loading firmware finished. As you can see in here, firmware version 4.0.4, which is ice cream sandwich. And 
yeah okay everything is ready finally you need to choose upgrade click on that and it will begin the installation once it is done you can then just leave it to do its job because the tablet will begin optimizing and installing the update so as you can see currently it is performing the last step which is checking the firmware it should say done success one and fail one now at this point as you can see the tablet will reboot and you should see this this folder right here which is kind of like when you do a firmware upgrade so just be patient now wait a minute or two and the process will be done at this point you can just close the program on your computer because it is done the only thing which needs to be done now is for the tablet to optimize everything and there you have it as you can see so the first boot as usual takes a while don't panic if you see the loading icon being stuck in here just be patient and you'll be in the setup wizard screen and there we go guys as you can see this is the setup wizard screen you can just basically set everything up the language and whatever as you usually did when you first got the tablet once the wizard is finished the tablet should start up without any issues there we go as you can see now let us head into the settings about tablet and let's see what we got there we go as you can see previously i was running cyanogen mod and now i'm running a stock android 4.0.4 which is ice cream sandwich so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you found it helpful this is how to restore a stock firmware on your tablet this is by the way the method for any pretty much any prestigio tablet you just need to download other kind of firmware but yeah it's basically kind of the same procedure if this video helped please hit the like button if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe once again everyone thank you for watching and i'll see you next time goodbye